Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Beck. And we're from Wild Family Travel. On our last day in Sanua, Bali, we hired some e-bikes and did a ride along the Esplanade or the beach path. And then we dared to do Danu Tamblingen. So today we're going to show you our ride along there with some of our favourite stops as well. We started off at Sindhu Beach, on the beach obviously, because that's where Sindhu Beach is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we rode up uh, Pantai Sindhu, which is the road that leads from the beach back to Jalandanu Tamblingen. And as you can see, just coming up here, there is a black and white uh, sign up, sort of a high on the right hand side. If you take that little alleyway, it'll leave you, lead you into the uh, Baruna Beach markets and you won't get harassed by the ladies on the beach. It's a top tip for anyone visiting Sanua. You find that this street is uh, jam packed with motorbikes parked on the side of it, but luckily there's a footpath on either side and you can quite easily ride along the road it's a it's a nice ride it's not actually too bad the e-bikes made it much much easier so it's actually it's a good ride in bali you don't have to wear a helmet or anything as australians that was a bit strange for us so but do take your time there's a number of places along this street to eat and drink at actually one of our favorite places to have a coffee at in Bali is coming up on the right hand side here. You can see the little yellow sign in the distance getting closer. It's called Bull's Coffee. Uh, they make mm. some fabulous iced coffees and hot coffees. You can sit out there on that little balcony and watch the world go by in Sanua. It's what was our favourite one? Our favourite coffee. Was it the French float or the French yeah, snowdrop or something Didn't like that? Did we have banana bread there too? At we some did stage? have banana bread yeah. there, and it yeah. was <laughs> quite good. They also had bagels and gelato from yes. memory. So yeah, so there's a number of small shops and warungs along here. There was actually a sports bar back there that's fairly popular. Is that Warung Sports? I sports or is Warung Sports on the other? Might be Warung Sports. Okay, so okay. not quite sure, but there's <laughs> there's a few Warungs around. There's this Warung here coming up on it's the, the red corner. building on the left hand side. We're just passing it now. Yeah, it's got its oh, shutters pulled down. It's fantastic. Yeah, you can go there and get actually a meal for probably four or five dollars, and it's really really good food. Uh, it's, you'll find that it's actually quite always packed at night time, especially with uh, locals and foreigners, because. If you see a lot of locals eating, you know that the food is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this street here actually looks a bit closed down at the moment, but it's not. It's just that we were filming this early on in the morning. All these shops here with the steel shutters down are generally shops that are selling uh, tourist souvenirs and stuff like that, you know, surfboards and uh, so things like that. So on the right-hand side now is where the Sindhu night market and morning market is held. So we'll have to go back and give it a little pause so Mark can show you that one. But um, you have to get to the morning market and the night market. The night market's probably more popular than the morning market, but you'll still find some awesome food there, some fresh produce in the morning, and try the uh, fried banana in the morning if you can. The pizan goreng, goreng that's yes. what it's called, the fried yeah. banana. Uh, it's fantastic, but the morning market is more for locals who are and business owners. You'll find that are getting their fresh uh, meat and vegetables for the day for their mm -hmm. restaurants. So. As we're moving along here in Dunnetamblingen, here um, this section here once again full of shops and restaurants, especially uh, not so many hotels in this section. They're up a little bit further because it seems to be a little bit inland from the beach. But you can uh, always stop this barley made in barley shop. Seems pretty popular. We always see a lot of people in there. It's uh, they make local barley inspired clothes and designs. Mm -hmm. Um, as you can see, this road gets a, a little bit busy here, and this was the, the traffic that was trying to get into the new Icon Mall that's in Bali. Uh, the recently opened Icon Mall that's just up forward here that's causing this traffic jam is apparently one of the biggest malls in Southeast Asia. I'm not quite sure about that, but it's probably definitely the biggest mall in Bali and uh, a really good addition to Sanur, I think. Uh, a lot of people weren't overly keen on it and didn't think that Sanur needed a shopping centre that's three storeys high, the size of Icon. But, hey, as much as I love Sanur, I think it was sort of sometimes lacking something like this. Mm, yes and no. But I suppose if you want to buy Western brands, you're going to buy them wherever you are. It doesn't matter if you're in Sanur or in Melbourne. Yeah. One of the great things I think that Icon 
probably has bought to Sonora is there's a, a cinema, so it sort of gives yeah. something for yeah. people to do besides go to the beach. And you know, at night time, there's only really restaurants open with live music. There's really nothing much yeah. else to uh, to see and do. So the cinema in there is a really good touch so is there's a like a time zone so on the right hand side you'll see swastika there are actually two swastikas in sonor one is the swastika bungalows and one is the swastika swastika guest house so if you're staying at either just make sure you get the right one you find a lot of places in bali have similar names or are sometimes the same name for yeah. for places and yeah. generally on different sides of the island but this one well, is there's um, warong baby monkeys that's really popular just across from Icon. There's a lot of building uh, going on in Sonora. I think Sonora might possibly be, um, you know, maybe unrecognisable in the in the next four or five years with, you know, a lot of big high-rises that seem to be mm. getting built along the beach now all over the place. Um, Bali seems to go in, in patterns where the next place seems to start getting built up. So Changu was the it place and still is the it place for younger people. But Sonora seems to be getting a lot of building done especially with the the mole they're building a new international hospital in mm. Sanua. uh was it the merlu i think or the maru there was a new five-star resort that opened yeah. on the beach as well on the beach path so Sanua seems to be the go-to place at the minute for building there's no real beach clubs though in Sanua. a lot of people go to the sagara and is it the gazebo they have memories out the front of there but most of the time, just wandering along the beach path, you'll actually find some nice music, some, you know, if you don't like it, you move on. It's easy enough, but there's no actual um, designated resorts, uh, not resorts, the nest. We've just passed the, ne the nest, and that's very, very, very popular spa in Sonora. So, yeah, so unlike, like Rebecca said, unlike Changu and Kuda, there is no... Beach clubs with night life as per se mm. in Sanua, that's for sure. It's uh, it's sort of not that seen at this stage. It's more a scene for families and older older couples, so I would I think say. there's lots of European people there too. Most definitely. So, yeah. But um, as you can see, on the right shops, on the left we're into a stage where there's mainly resorts and hotels or beach access You'll still see some shops on this side, but yeah, we're starting to get it closer, back closer area to the beach. So a lot of hotels build from the beach all the way through to Danu Tambling then here. So um, this start, this start, this area gets a little bit busier again. I think upcoming, this is Sawyer on the left. It's a popular Japanese restaurant. As you can see, it's not open at this stage. Um, what was the name of the Wurung on this side we went to up here that we're on meat? Rib. It? Warung Rib, Starbucks, Starbucks on that side. You can get better coffee nearly anywhere in Sonor. So up here is Greer Santrian, a really good place to stay. We've stayed there. We've got a YouTube video on that as well. Uh, luxury place to stay. Wicked Parrot's popular for many people for dining good as well. Good live music too. Yeah, it's sort of like a bit of a cross between an Irish international. I don't really know what it is, but yeah, they have live music most nights. Um just on this side coming up here is another really big hotel. It used to be Swiss Bell. I'm not quite sure what it's called now. What I can't quite remember. What Watu Jimba Resort. Resort. Yeah. Well, Mozza is another popular one. And Casablanca has live music uh, quite often and they show sports if you're into that sort of thing too. Excellent. You'll find plenty of these Alpha Marts and Indomart, Indomart, Circle K. Popular, popular Express. So, um, <laughs> I think besides uh, being a driver or a masseuse in Bali, <laughs> you can open a convenience store every 10 minutes. Bread Basket. Bread Basket mm -hmm. makes amazing, actually, meat pies. If you are an Australian and you like a pie, go to the Bread Basket, they'll have them. Uh, this place, this ice cream shave place we just passed on that, the left was on the right, sorry, was new. A bit different. A bit different. So yeah. we're moving down this little alleyway here. goes to the beach. It's right next to this Swedish restaurant. Cafe Smorgas. Cafe Smorgas. Yes. Uh, really yeah. good coffee. Also, you'll find on the right an ATM. Um, is it? Yeah. Yeah, just back is a Commonwealth Bank ATM. So that is a safe place to take out some money. And we just passed the other swash sticker bungalows. bungalows. So it was back That's there. there. Yep. Yeah. So on the left, we've just passed Koa Spa, which is another uh, 
good one to go to and there is a leather shop across the road from that which is popular too okay. ah hardy's or artisanana uh, it's the local big supermarket in the main street of Dunu Tamblingen. It used to be the only really big supermarket, but now there's one in the basement of Icon as well. So you can get all your grocery shopping needs, Western needs mm-hmm. there as well that you'll find. Don't forget, you can get your Kiss Spray, your Milo Nuggets, um, your Softel. Softel? No, Softel. Um, oh, that's the Bug Spray. So if you need that, it's all at really good prices there. <laughs> Uh, La Republic uh, Ooh, French brasserie, brasserie yeah. there uh, makes some really good coffee and some really good French food if you want international food while you're in Bali. So this section here is sort of mid-range, middle of middle of Sanur, I would say. Um, we've stayed near this area a few times. A couple of really There's good White restaurants Orchid. here. White Orchid has a good happy mm-hmm. hour every night. And the shampoo lounge is across from that, which people rave about haircuts and everything there. So. Okay, on the, the left is the Maya Resort, one of the biggest, uh, most posh resorts in, in Bali. Plenty of people stay there. They have like a, a tree patio or an elevator patio where you can have cocktails every night. Coming up on the right here is one of our favourite places to stay. It's called Hotel Jaddy or Jaddy Wurrung here, little homestay just in here. And about $50 a night, pool, clean rooms, yeah. free breakfast. Yeah, you know, it's a really, really good spot to stay. And we've say stayed hi there to four Willie times. for us. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> say hello to Willie. He works behind the bar. Um, behind the reception. Yes, There's behind no the reception. There. Sorry, reception. Um, I have bars on my mind when we're in Bali, so <laughs> bintangs are available everywhere, obviously. Yeah, so they've actually just redeveloped it Developed it. So there's a warung on one side and a little convenience shop on the other, which is fantastic. But this section is a little bit different. It can get dark at night if you're walking between sort of the middle section of Sonora and Southern Sonora. Um, yeah, it does get a little bit dark. You do have to watch the footpath. If you've ever visited Bali before or Sonora before, you know they can be a bit bit rough in some spots, missing and all the rest of it. But it's safe. We've walked it numerous times and we don't really have any issues while we're walking through that area. So a lot of the drivers and taxis park here, as you can see by this bit of footage um, and you can see me waiting for Rebecca because she was on the bike way back a little mm. bit at this stage but on the just over my shoulder here where the big concrete fence is this sort of area along here is pretty much owned by Hyatt so they have what they call Andaz by Hyatt which is like their five-star resort um we've been there for breakfast and we have a really good video on the breakfast at Andaz that mm. you can get and a little bit up further they've just got an actual Hyatt brand itself. So two big resorts owned by Hyatt that take up a whole sway of room here in Sonora in between the beachfront and this road here. But there's not much on this other side of the road, on the right-hand side now. As I, I would assume it'll be redeveloped in the coming years. There's a couple of... There's a restaurant dotted in there and there's actually a car park for the, for the, for the Brazilian... Australian barbecue, barbecue yeah. steakhouse that's just in here. So if you drive to that, you can park in this area over here, and I think they have a shuttle bus that, or a little golf cart, more likely, that takes you back. So this is the entry here to Hyatt uh, on that side of the street. And now we're about to come back into an area where you'll find plenty of shops on both sides of the street and probably the best ice cream in Sanua oh. coming up. You dream of that. You leave Sanur and you dream of Massimo's gelato. It doesn't matter what you do. But there's also a fantastic bakery coming up, which is Daily Baguette. It's on the right-hand side, and it is magnificent. I absolutely love their apple oh, turnovers, I think they're called. Apple turnovers. I'll go with that. Apple pastry, some sort of thing. Anyway, it's all all very nice from there. Here's the Aussie Brazilian barbecue Mm -hmm. on this side here. uh, About $25 all you can eat meat, really good meat too, all cooked on the the rotisserie. And just up here somewhere is, is it Mama Sonor? That is a great little warung and we absolutely loved our food there. Oh, and if you go to the Aussie Brazilian barbecue, you have to try the... Um, pineapple. Yeah, the roast. Well, not roasted. It's what is it? It's on a like rotisserie, barbecue. barbecued rotisserie 
pineapple, which uh, I'd never had before. I mean, I've fried pineapple at home before, but it was nowhere near as good as the uh, Massimo's. Massimo's on this side here. That's where you get the famous ice yeah. cream. So top tip, you pay at the register, and then when they call your name, they'll tell you what to what to do. Just coming up here is the Art Hotel on the left-hand side. You can't really see it pretty well from here. We've just gone past it, but they have a really nice roof bar where you can have cocktails or beers mm -hmm. at night and see the sunset. And just in here on the left is Nui Collections, which is one of the only fixed-price shops in this end of Sonor. So we've just sort of gone off Danu Tambling, and now this street's called J.I. Camara. Camara? Camara? Yeah, anyway. So this heads down here towards where we end up at, which is our hotel that we're staying at. But this area here, lots of shops, a little bit of undeveloped area, but that's like Sanua all over the place. You'll find shops and then you'll find a brick wall with nothing behind it. And that's just the way Sanua is in a lot of places. So once again, shops, shops, shops. Shopping, uh, shopping, shopping. Coming up is another big supermarket here, which is really good if you're up this end. Mm -hmm. And then the local art market, which... I don't think many people know too much about it. it. doesn't actually sell just art. It sells, it's just like a normal market that you'll mm. find anywhere in Bali. Macrame, has Yeah. Um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. Sports jerseys I've seen in there yeah, as well, which are really popular. Nice. So a little bit uh, uneven footpath area along here yeah. when we walked along here. Um, look, one thing I'll say about Sanur in general is if you if you've got generally if you've got a disability or you and you're in a wheelchair or you can't um, or your your mobility, mobility is impacted it's a little bit hard to get around but there's a really good Vietnamese, Vietnamese. restaurant we just passed there called Meview by Hanoi um, really really good Vietnamese yeah. food for really sure really good and we love Vietnamese food so and we eat it all over the place and if we say it's good it's definitely really <laughs> good so this is coming up here towards our hotel, the Prama, where this motorbike come out is another access to the beach. You'll find all these little streets that access the beach because, uh, you know, you're only about a block away, but there's no road along the beach. So, and here we are, we've arrived at Prama. So this is our, where we were staying. So this is our ride all the way from Sindhu Beach to Prama at the other end of Sanua.